Well, Shamir Little in the pink vest in lane five likes to go off very hard. Georgian Moline has got her in her sights, but also going off quickly. Sandra Tate in lane three, their third from right in the pink. She's made up some ground on Georgian Moline, who's run a very steady first 100. So they go into the back straight away. Now, oh, there's a heavy fall there from Ashley Spencer. She's down and out. She's hit only the second barrier, I think it is that, as uh, Cassandra Tate is going strongly so is Anna Cockrell on the outside but Shamir Little looking strong Moline has run a very steady first 300 meters Moline at the moment possibly just leading as that stagger run winds in her favor it's Moline in lane four yes clears that one well Shamir Little outsider isn't finished with the green head with that green head flower she's battling away against Moline as she can come back at her Cassandra Tate in lane three is going to be finished in third place but it's a battle royal there oh Moline a misstep there off that final barrier and that was Little through to take the title by three meters 53.61 that is quick wow that is a top draw time from Shamir Little <laughs> but she was kind of handed the title on a plate albeit she had to work very hard for it by George Ann Moline was it a an ankle twist or just some kind of a misstep there as she came off the final barrier and it wasn't immediately she came off the barrier it was almost like she lost balance watch this Ah, just yeah. a little drag of that right leg. I think her leg almost collapsed yeah. beneath her. But she's looking good, but Little just is coming around right at the right time. 53.91, fastest time of the year for her. Brilliant 61. race, too. 53.61, excuse me, Tim. Well, Shamir Little holding her form the best. It's all about how you cope with the pressure in these situations Shamir Little absolutely delighted with that one she looked like she might dominate the 400 meter hurdles after winning the NCAA and the US titles back in 2015 at the age of 20 but she failed to make the final at the Olympic trials two years ago and last year's world championships in London so that is very very satisfying after a couple of disappointing seasons Shamir Little is back on top of US one lap hurdling